coach on the road against the ranked Dallas today. Better performance than we had against them our last game a few weeks ago. Um, what do you kind of see from the team today in terms of effort? Well, you know, there's no more victories. But I want to see us fight. I want to see. I want to see us stay together for 40 minutes. I didn't want to see us splinter. You know, it's easier easier said than done. But it's kind of been seemed like that's happening in the second half a lot. Again, we're coming here playing a team that's won 20 in a row, 21st in the country, um, a really good team. But I couldn't have been more proud of our team's effort. Most importantly, they stayed together and they kept battling. Got down nine in the second half, battled that thing back to a one possession game. We got the rebound on the free throw down three, and they're hollering foul, j -Mar. They whack him and call a jump ball. They get it out. Uh, scoring out under, now we're down five. It's hard to overcome them making 13 threes. We make two threes. But that tells you how efficient we were still getting the ball where we had to get it. We beat them at the free throw line, which is something I think the first game in our place, they, they shot 29 to our 16 or 17. Today, we beat them at the free throw line. Uh, the guy that has to step up, and we got to get him going. Thought we got him going tonight was Eve. But he was a huge difference. And, you know, and Jarius never got going. He got bad foul trouble in the first half. Bad one starts the second half, never got no rhythm. Uh, but again, there's no more victories. But we can build on this, and that's what I want our guys to see and believe uh, that we have a chance against anybody. Again, let's build on it, let's learn from it. That's our second game without Luke. He ain't walking through the door. We were better tonight. We got to get more minutes. We got to get Dante keep playing. We got to get Flu playing some more minutes. We need we need another guy out there so can make a three point shot because it's just a grind when you make two threes. An opponent makes thirteen, and it's still a one possession game. Minute to go. Kind of a tale of two halves here. Jordan Rawls um, did really well for us in the first half, and then you alluded to. Eme and all, scored all 16 of his points in the second half. How crucial was it for those two guys to, to step up tonight? Well, we, we need them all stepping up at once for us to be as good as we can be. We need to, we need everybody doing the best they can do every night. Uh, you know, we need Ross to score. We need Dave score. E-Man was a must because he's a guy who hadn't been scoring. Uh, those other guys have been scoring. Dave's going to find ways every night. Uh, I thought Jamar played really hard. 14 rebounds. Uh, he was a factor. He didn't get a lot of blocks, but he was a factor protecting that rim on those guards. Those guards would come in there a bunch and jump stop, kick it out. And, and again, they're a really good team. So, um, coaches, assistant coaches, Coach Cunningham, they did a great job getting this team prepared. And, you know, but most importantly, I wanted to see where our wheel was on the road how we can stay together and not splinter when things go bad. And we did that. And we're going to build from that. We'll get better from that. We're able to go home now with a three-game homestand. What's your approach to kind of this next week as we have UTSA on Thursday? Well, there ain't really no different approach. Get back and take them one at a time and keep keep learning to get better. Keep learning to, you know, as I said, we got to keep learning to play without Luke. Rawls is over a lot. Keep doing things. It takes advantage of what Rawls can do in that position. And keep figuring out ways to, to, you know, make some more threes with different personnel. Maybe. You know, can the personnel out there make them? You know, I believe in them. Uh, but when we're not, we got to keep doing what we were doing. We got that ball, drove it. We got E Man in those soft spots a bunch. And so we got to continue to do just take one day at a time, find ways to keep getting better. And